Ashley McCray. I'm the Adult FNEP Program Assistant here at North Carolina Cooperative Extension Robinson County Center. And today I'm coming um, to you with another recipe. We're going to be doing Asian glazed carrots. Let's start with what we need. So what we would need for this recipe is four cups of pre-sliced carrots. And you can do whole carrots and cut them yourself, but at the same time, buy them already pre-sliced. So we're gonna need four tablespoons of maple syrup. We're also gonna need half a teaspoon of hot sauce. We have two tablespoons of olive oil. We have one tablespoon of garlic powder. We also have a half teaspoon of ginger powder. And then we're gonna be adding two tablespoons of soy sauce. And you can go with a low sodium soy sauce to make it a little bit more, um, less salty. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and cut on our um, oven. So we're gonna cut it up to about maybe between six or seven. And we're gonna be using just a little regular um, frying pan here. You can use a skillet if you have a skillet, but for today, we're just gonna be using our frying pan. So I have my two tablespoons of olive oil here, and we're just gonna pour it into the pan. I'm gonna move our cups aside. Now, one thing that I like to do with my pan, we're just gonna kind of roll it around a little bit so we can make sure that that whole pan is coated. See our smoke coming up so we know that it's heating up and what we're going to do now we just cut that heat up just a little bit we can feel it getting warm and we're going to add our carrots so what i'm doing now is i'm just giving those carrots a toss and the toss that i'm doing is just to make sure that i coat the um carrots each with um olive oil so you want to make sure that your carrots are a little bit glistening, as I like to say. And that kind of lets you know that, okay, your olive oil has coated successfully. And we're just gonna let this simmer. So whenever you add your carrots um, to your pan, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go through, we um, toss them a bit to make sure that we have the olive oil on them. Um, typically, you would cover your carrots. Um, you can, or what you can do is just continue to do that back and forth rock motion, kind of like you're making a stir fry, but the only ingredient that you have is carrots. So we're gonna just toss that around a little bit more. You can see the olive oil a little bit glistening off of the carrots. And we'll just continue to let those cook down. So while this is cooking down, we're gonna start making our mixture to go into our carrots. So for our mixture, what we're gonna do is take our garlic powder. You're gonna take your ground ginger. So this is about a half teaspoon of ginger. If you're using fresh ginger, you would use two tablespoons versus the two teaspoons. Okay, we have four tablespoons of maple syrup that we're gonna add. Now it doesn't look like much as you're putting it all together in your bowl to mix, but I promise you these flavors together is gonna gel and mimic a really nice like Asian flavor. And this um, dish is something that you can add to any meal as like a side dish. You can um, even use this as like a lunch treat if you would like to. So we added our maple syrup, We've added our hot sauce. If you have sriracha, you can use sriracha um, for your maple syrup. Let's say you don't have maple syrup. You can use regular syrup that you have at home or you can use some Cairo syrup, whichever one that you um, would like to use best. You're just looking for something to kind of kick up that level of sweetness that you're looking for in the carrots. And then keep in mind too, carrots have natural um, sweeteners in them. So by us cooking them, we're already releasing some of that sugar. We're just adding that maple syrup to give a little extra kick of sweetness. And then we're now gonna add our two tablespoons of soy sauce, and this is low sodium soy sauce. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And then here's our salt. And now all we're gonna do is just whisk 
those ingredients together. And you'll notice it might look a little bit lumpy, but you just wanna mix it just enough until those clumps come out. And you'll really start to smell that ginger and that hot sauce and the maple um, syrup together and it smells really, really good and sweet. Um, not only for carrots, I would even try this on some Brussels sprouts. Um, you could even try this on virtually any type of vegetable if you wanna kick it up and give it like a little bit of an Asian feel to it. So now that this is all mixed, we're gonna go back to our carrots. Cut them down slightly and just stir them around a little bit. And I can already feel as I'm going through preparing them that they're starting to get a little bit more softer. Now, had I covered them, they would have probably been a lot more softer than what they are now. So, all we're going to do now, and guess what? We're almost finished. We're going to pour our mixture onto our carrots. And if you guys can smell how awesome this smells. And we're gonna go back and give it another toss. Okay. So what we're gonna do is let this cook down for about another seven to eight minutes. You could do 10 minutes um, just so you can get it as tender as you like. We normally like to cook the um, carrots until they're fork tender, but everybody has personal preference and some people like to have a little bit of crunch to their carrots. So you can cut down that cooking time a little bit if you like. Just give your carrots, you know, enough time to get all that flavor from your mixture, your um, sweet mixture on there and just kind of let it marinate together. So we're gonna let it cook for just a few minutes. We'll come back, we're gonna plate it, give it a taste, and see how you guys like it. All right, so our carrots have been cooking for about seven to eight minutes. We're gonna cut it down right now to about four because we're gonna start plating in just a second. Now there are some additions that you can add to these carrots. So if you like, as a garnish, you can get you some green onions, you can cut them up and just sprinkle them across the top. You can get you some sesame seeds and sprinkle them on there and kind of toss the carrots with them. Whatever you would like to use just to kind of beef it up a little bit, you can. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my stove off. We wanna make sure that these are fork tender. So I'm gonna take my fork, stick it in one of them. I was able to pick it up, no issue. So we know they're ready. And this makes about eight servings. Okay. Now, what would be cooking without giving it a try, right? So here we go. And I know it's gonna be hot. And like I said, I can smell that ginger, that um, garlic powder. It's not too overpowering. It's just enough, just enough. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay. And like I said, you could add the green onions. You could add a lot more um, other things to it. You can kind of see the sugar, um, well, the natural sugar from the carrots because it's still a little glazy, mm -hmm. not to mention the fact that we have our sauce now added to it. And then we also use that olive oil. And then we have that nice, like extra little brown into it from us sauteing it in our pan. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This is very inexpensive, very quick, very simple. Um, from bag to table, only takes about 30 minutes tops. And like I said, this is a great side dish, or you can also use it as a great lunch go-to. So please look out for some more recipes that we have for you guys. I hope you enjoy them, and I look forward to sharing another recipe with you all soon.